um, and I've never regretted doing that. Um, but I think we have a lot in this city to be proud of, in the way in which the city has been enormously enriched by the people who have chosen to make their home here, yeah. to bring up their families here, but we have nothing to be complacent about. Because community cohesion, as it's now called, it is always work in progress. It's not something that you have achieved. It is something you have to continue to strive for. And, I mean, you know, Joe's you know, right to remind us of the things that we've done in the past. We must look to the future and learn from what we have done with communities that have made their home here. Learn from how we have helped them to be a part of this one lesson. And make sure that in the future, as other communities come here and enrich our city, that they are enabled to do that in ways that involve us in listening to them, not just speaking to them, listening to them and trying to help them to meet their needs in the way that they themselves perceive those needs. And that is something I believe that a mayor can help to lead, building on our achievements in the past and making sure that we don't forget them in the future. Yes, I, I, I worry about um, politician sound bites. Um, we know one of the big strengths of this city. People almost revere it because of its diversity. But I've been intrigued in, in the last two or three months in, in, in travelling around and talking to many, many, many communities. Many of them, truthfully, you know, feel quite disenfranchised. I'm, I'm quite reminded of years ago um, when I chaired the Magistrates' Courts Committee and we found that we had massive underrepresentation from ethnic communities, I'll use the term. And when I went round, I went to the Radio, etc., 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 I often heard it said, well, it's not really my sort of criminal justice system, is it? It's yours. And I find that now. One of the things that has been a recurring theme to me as I've talked to communities is representation at high level within the city council. If you actually look at senior officers, you have to tumble right down the tiers to get people of ori Asian or black origin. I think we ought to ask ourselves, what's going on? Why is that? We can boast about our equalities, but actually underlying is there something that we should be more concerned about and something where we've got to do targeting. I believe in targeting. I don't believe in positive discrimination. I think it's demeaning and patronising. But I think we still have loads of work to do with black and Asian communities in saying, come on, get on board. Okay. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. The last point to respond to this question is David, please. Yes, well, if you look around yourself here tonight, this doesn't represent Leicester. It doesn't represent the majority non-white community. Joseph Allen, yes, I've not met you before, but I, I, I applaud you for being here, because at the Highfield Centre, so few people came there to that hosting, so few people knew about it. Why did Keith Faz, Liz Kendall and Peter Salisbury back David Miliband and not Diane Abbott? It's a question you need to ask them. I'm asking them now. Come on, Keith, tell me why you back David Miliband. <coughs> Joseph, Joseph, can you respond to what you've heard so far? Thanks, Gary. You're welcome. <laughs> Joseph, really? Whoa. I'm kind of taken aback. People are calling me Joseph, it's usually right. Joe. Hey, Gary, you said special attention. I agree with that. We are multicultural. We talk about strengths. Peter drew reference to committee cohesion. For my sin, I was the advisor of the British government that gave committee cohesion to six local authorities around this country. So, therefore, I know something about community cohesion. And by the way, Peter was with me at that time back in 2003. We heard about um, power to the people, lovely words. We also heard about the one Leicester concept. Well, I've been following this one Leicester thing, and as usual, I wasn't joking when I said earlier on, I was fed up being a counsellor, but all I keep getting was, let's note the report, yeah. despite having the resources to take action about what it is that's come before committees. So I'm hoping that the one Leicester thing is not a noting business, but an action thing. Okay, can we... And, yes, that's the issue. Three candidates want yeah. to still respond. Just to talk about targeting. Let me tell you this, folks. Truth and right is colourless. There ain't no black truth, there ain't no white truth. 
Truth and light is colorless. It's for the man, because there ain't no woman up there, when he gets into that position to ensure that Leicester's population is about truth and right, where color is not the influence that's going down. <laughs>